Making the buying process longer may decrease your conversion rate. To speed up buying experience and shorten your checkout process, use Addify Quick Buy Now button for Shopify app. This app creates a fast-paced buying process by redirecting customers directly to the checkout page or any third-party marketplace like Amazon and Etsy. Show a pop-up to the customer on clicking the Buy Now button, which leads him directly towards checkout or allows continued shopping session. You can replace the Buy Now button with Add to Cart button or keep both buttons. Let's see how this app works. Click on Apps and go to the Quick Buy Now button. Click on Add Rule to create a new rule. Add rule title here for future reference. Here you can select specific user role and products. We select all users and all products for now. We can upload custom icon or select default icons with text. We select button with text for now and enter button text here. You can select button action as redirect to cart, show pop-up, redirect to checkout and custom URL. We select show pop-up for now. Check this box to hide the default Add to Cart button. Check this box to customize the button style. Change the font size and select the text color and background color. Set the status of this rule as active and click on Submit button. Let's go to the front end to see how it looks. Go to the Product page. Here you can see the Add to Cart button is replaced with Quick Buy Now button. Once a customer clicks on the Buy Now button, then a pop-up will appear. Now they can directly go to the checkout page or skip this pop-up and continue shopping. Let's configure the pop-up settings now. Go to the General Settings tab. Here, you can enable or disable this app. You can select the pop-up location and pop-up background color. You can change the pop-up title text and title font size as well. You can customize the checkout page button text, colors, and font size. Also, you can customize the continue shopping button text, colors, font size, and even you can add a redirect URL for the continue shopping button. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.